Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous superstar cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of October 2019, looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And as we start this month, we will continue with the new moon energy that took place late last month. I did speak about it then, but it's essentially focused on matters of home, and family of origin. And so chances are you'll be spending more time at home and enjoying that space and finding that to be a particularly healing space as well. You may wanna have another look at last month's horoscope to understand the first days of this month. But as we navigate towards the middle of the month, that is when the energy does change. Right around the 13th, give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, that is when we are going to have this month's full moon. Now, this full moon is an important one. It is a consequential one for you. It is happening at the very top of your sky. This is considered an especially sensitive part of your chart. And it has to do with a few different things. It covers destiny, life purpose. On a more mundane level, it speaks to career, social standing. It speaks to interviews, auditions, uh, promotions, and it speaks to a sense of visibility, a sense of legacy as well as to what it is you're creating. Full moons bring matters to fruition and they tend to represent a time of cultivation and illumination as well. This full moon will be speaking in conversations of tension with Saturn and Pluto, both of these planets in your opposite sign. Now, I do feel that there is going to be some connection, some interaction with another person, one-on-one -on -one alliance, could be a partnership, a business partnership, or a professional partnership, or a personal partnership that is highlighted at this time that is part of your own realizations or part of the opportunities that do show up. However, this is connections of tension. So in some way, it may feel challenging. It could feel as if you don't have the support to actually move yourself in the direction that you desire to achieve the things that you desire. It could feel like there are a differing uh, intentions here. So one part of you may feel like you want to be more on the side of your partner, but then you also want that sense of achievement or uh, a cultivation of ambition. Now, this can also be uh, wondering if uh, you're being asked to do something that feels bigger than you're capable of. So you might be challenged at this time, but some challenges can be better than others, right? Sometimes there are challenges that ultimately bring out the best in us. And then sometimes there are challenges that um, go to a place where we're moving in a direction that really doesn't feel right for us. So these are some of the scenarios that can come up at this time. But here's the thing that I really, really love for you. And that is a beautiful, supremely harmonious connection between Jupiter and this full moon. And this is about possibility of opportunity, of hope, of good energy, of expansion. And of course, you've got Jupiter uh, for the last two months now. You've got two more months to go in this. The last two months of Jupiter, as we start this month, are moving through the part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life, including your work and the type of work you're doing and the people who surround you there. And so, if you look at this beautiful connection playing out, it tells me that you're moving in a great direction. It tells me that there may very well be a career and work-related opportunity that feels like it accelerates your pathway forward in a way that you truly do love. Now, what you love may be your own intuitive understanding of the right path for you to take, the right opportunity for you to take. It is also possible though, what you do love is the actual opportunity. A lot is gonna be based on your individual circumstance, but it's important to pay attention to see what it is that you're feeling and understanding about what opportunities mean the most to you, and you'll find yourself moving forward. Now there's another layer of understanding here. As I said, legacy and life purpose are covered here. And so it can be that someone else has a differing opinion as to what is the right step for you to take. However, there may be a sense of alignment now that happens that helps you to live differently and live in a practical way in greater alignment with what you believe is a higher purpose for your life. 
Now this part of the sky where Jupiter is, keep in mind it can also relate to health and health related habits. So it is possible that some change on that front feels like it aligns with legacy for you at this time. Now, as we navigate towards the end of the month, right around the 28th is when we are going to have this month's new moon. This new moon is happening in a part of the sky that has to do with uh, joy and happiness and passion. Now that passion can be what you're passionate for in your life. It can be related to love as well. Flirtation is covered here. This new moon is standing across the sky from Uranus. So there are surprises a minute that are taking place at this time in these realms. Now outside of love, uh, this is energy that says your fertility may take you by surprise, your children may take you by surprise at this time. And so with this, um, what can happen is really big opportunities that feel like they're leaping you forward. Sometimes there's instant happiness, a jolt of joy. Sometimes, initially, you're not really sure how you feel before things start to change in a way that feels more authentic, but that becomes possible here. The other layer of understanding with this has to do with creativity and opportunities to share your creativity. If you are a person who uses your creativity to your advantage, well, this can be just that opportunity to in some way uh, be seen more or to in some way welcome in bigger opportunities than you have in a while, very much by surprise. But of course, a lot of cancers out there are going to experience this energy in the context of love. If you're open to meeting someone new, you may be very surprised by a flirtation that happens at this time. You may not even realize that a flirtation is happening until you realize and it wakes you right up, gives you a little bit of a jolt, but that can be part of the fun of this time as well. It certainly does wake something up for you in terms of your own realization as to the options available to you where it comes to love. For those of you who are just getting to know someone, if you're just dating someone, you are going to find this to be a consequential new moon. This can be very all or nothing. So you're all in and things leap forward very quickly or you realize that you are going in a different direction and that different direction can show up for you at the time of this new moon as well. And for those of you in an established bond, look, this energy can be very fun. It can be very spontaneous, that's for sure. And the opportunity to cultivate that more romantic moment can show up at this time as well. Now it could be that there is something you are really wanting to do, desiring to do, or the two of you may spontaneously decide to go in a particular direction together. Uh, and then there may be that moment of, okay, does this make sense for us? Well, I would say that if it moves you in a direction of cultivating genuine enthusiasm, then you're probably and certainly on the right path. Now, I do want to say, regardless of your relationship status, something to keep in mind that I'll probably remind you of next uh, month as well. And that is right around that new moon. Actually, Halloween day is when Mercury will go retrograde in the same part of the sky. You're going to have a nice long stay of Mercury in this part of the sky. And what can happen sometimes with this is breakups can happen due to misunderstandings but breakups that happen during a mercury retrograde season tend to not stay broken up and can be rooted in miscommunication in some way and that is something to keep in mind now if you're you know find yourself changing course in the first days of the month in the first 10 days of the month then we're not really in that mercury retrograde season just yet but once we navigate towards that new moon, just keep in mind, whatever you think you decide, you might change your mind. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here, but I'm going to say I love that new moon at the end of the month because it awakens your heart. It awakens your desires. Uh, it helps you to understand more of what you're passionate about. It helps to keep your eye on the future. And it can bring truly big opportunities in alignment with your happiness that take you by surprise, but absolute delight. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.